What's up good people, it's Sports Dad. You already know what time it is and you already know how I get down. So let's get right to it. In this video, we're gonna talk about the NCAA flexibility on the standardized test. I don't want you to be misinformed because there's a lot of misinformation out there. So uh, let's jump right into it right about now. So we know in 2020, we've been hit with COVID pretty hard. And COVID definitely has changed a lot of things for us. There's been some bad things, but there's also been some benefits from this. One of the benefits is, is the fact that the NCAA have shown some grace. They have shown a level of flexibility. However, I've been hearing rumors that this information has been misinterpreted and it has been indicated that this flexibility has been applied to everyone moving forward. And that's not true. Let's take a look at what the NCAA says about this. NCAA Eligibility Center announces flexibility and in initial eligibility for 2021 and 22 students, right? Let's see what the NCAA says about this, shall we? Students who initially enroll full-time during the 2021-22 academic year and intend to play NCAA Division I or II athletics will not be required to take a standardized test to meet NCAA initial eligibility requirements. What this is saying, guys, that if you are a senior right now, that means that you will be enrolling into college during your 2021 and 22 academic uh, school year. So therefore, you guys are exempt from taking Taking the standardized test, right? Um, if you are a junior, if you are a sophomore, if you are a freshman, or what have you, more, more specifically more so sophomore juniors, it probably behooves you to actually move forward with taking the standardized test until there's an updated announcement um, that has come out by the NCAA. This only applies to if you are a senior right now that will be enrolling into college during the 2021-22 academic school year. So instead of your eligibility be predicated upon your the standardized test, it will only be predicated upon your 2.3 grade point average in your core courses. Student athletes enrolling in Division I school during the 2021 academic year will be academically eligible by earning 2.3 grade point average in 16 NCAA approved core courses. So you're talking about your core courses, which is your English, your math, your science, um, things like that. Um, completed by the start of their seventh semester in high school prior to their senior year. So that's what they're going to make you eligible by. That's how they're going to determine your eligibility. It's not going to be by the standardized test, but it's just going to be by your grade point average alone. Okay, it's going to be by your grade point average alone prior to you becoming a senior. So that is the key in all of this. You have to have a at least a 2.3 in your core classes prior to your senior year. So that means that whatever your GPA is at the end of your junior year, that's what your eligibility is gonna be predicated upon. So there you have it. That's the clarity that I wanted to provide on this particular announcement. I know this announcement has came out sometimes, but there has been some information that's been circulating. I didn't want anyone to be misinformed, especially if you're a subscriber to my channel. And speaking of subscription, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we post updated information. Also, I wanted to announce that because football is back in session for high school, I will be hosting my live sessions on Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m. So make sure that you tune in. For more information on high school recruiting and if you want to know what it is on the inside, make sure that you check in with your boy. Excuse me, who gave you the right to come on this land?